Hey guys, so this is a tutorial on how to nebulize your rat or guinea pig or bunny or any animal that potentially needs to be nebulized. Um, we have both a very rough do-it-yourself kind of nebulization setup that we'll walk you through. We also have one that we use at our hospital. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the different parts of the nebulizer first, and then we'll talk about how to hook everything up. So if you're at home and you don't have a nebulizer uh, or a nebulizing chamber, the very first thing you're gonna start with is a nice big um, Rubbermaid or, or Ziploc or whatever, just Tupperware. So you can either use just the normal lid that comes with your box or if you've lost it or if you don't want to use it, you can just go ahead and use Saran Wrap, which is really easy. This is just a garbage bag that is serendipitously the right size. So we're just gonna place this um, on the top of the Tupperware and what we're gonna do is just tape this in place. So there's really nothing fancy about this step. I'm just, I'm just taping everything down. Once we have this part done, we are also going to want to make sure that you have some kind of hole in your nebulizing chamber that allows you to actually get the meds inside. The easiest way to do that is just take a pair of scissors and go to town on the side of, of your Tupperware. So you can see this is an excellently drilled hole. Um, there, you can actually use a real drill. I'm pretty sure we did use scissors in this case just to give you guys an idea of what you can do at home. So this is the part of your nebulizer that is going to give the medication from the nebulizing machine into the nebulizing chamber. Um, and this is the thing that fits in here. And so it is a tight fit in this particular um, Tupperware container. And we had that be on purpose because you want it to, you want there to not be too much um, leakage of the medications around there. So after you've finished your nebulization chamber and you have this piece inserted, you're going to set that aside for a moment and you're going to turn your attention back to your machine. So this is the nebulizing machine. This is tubing that is part of the attachment from the machine to your chamber. And then there are these three pieces that you're going to put together. So these pieces fit together in the world's easiest puzzle, where this little purple piece goes right into the center, and then this top portion just slides in place and it, it clicks when you turn it, or it, it fastens quite firmly when you turn it. So this is going to be connected to this uh, tubing. And so this tubing goes right here and goes in place, and the other end of this tubing goes to your machine right here. So now you have your tube, you have your nebulizing cup, and you have your nebulizing chamber. Inside your nebulizing cup, you're going to put any medications you may have. And so that's something that you would have had pre-drawn up. And so you will just place it in here as is needed or prescribed by your doctor. And then you're just going to close this again. <clears throat> and what you're gonna do is attach this to your nebulization chamber. This nebulization chamber has the connector already in place and you saw me jam that in earlier. And so that just attaches right here and you can see that I'm just going off the side of this table so that this can hang naturally. And what we would do is plug that in and turn it on and this whole chamber, once we had taped it on all sides with the animal inside, will fill with a vaporized medication and your animal will be comfortable and able to breathe it in over the next 15 minutes or so. And then once this is done, you can go ahead and just turn off this machine. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And you can just let them stay in your nebulization chamber for another 10 to 15 minutes so they can get the, the rest of the medicated goodness that's in the air uh, in this nebulized chamber. And that is how you would do it in this kind of a setup. If you are lucky enough to have a proper nebulizing chamber available to you, instead of having it put in here, this part just attaches attaches right like this and then the same thing happens where you can put your animal in latch this closed and turn on the machine so you want to make sure that in either of these chambers that you don't put any kind of towel or anything absorbent inside because you do want to make sure that your animal gets the full benefit of the medications that you're giving them and then once you're at a place where you can start your nebulizing machine, you have your nebulizer on a different surface and ideally cushioned on a towel of some kind um, or a soft cloth or something like that. 
this is loud and it vibrates. And so it is really nice actually to have it a little bit separate from your animal so they're not worried or scared within the chamber.